What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video, another play review. The new Fantasy Foot promo is here and there's some really nice cards in this promo, along with a really good objective. If you guys remember last year, Foot Birthday Simon was a hidden gem. He was so cheap as well at one point. He was only like 30, 40,000 coins and he was absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if you guys played last year or even remembered this card, but man, this Fantasy Foot card is going to bring us some great flashbacks. If you guys are new to the objectives guide series what we're going to do essentially we just go over all of these objectives i'll give you guys my tips and tricks and as well i'll explain these break them down because i can already see this is a new objective we've not had before score using a ford and a live foot friendly savvy signings with a full squad of players brought for less than two thousand coins each and you know what's actually really tough about this one i'm not going to be able to build you guys a squad because player prices for that squad is going to go up Cheap meter player prices are about to skyrocket So I am not going to be able to build you guys a squad So I'm going to have to do it a little bit differently The squad builder part of the video And I'm going to have to like go step by step And tell you guys what to do To actually get the squad done Because if I build you guys a squad Buy them for a thousand now Everyone sees a squad Or people in general will just be looking for, for cheap meter players Boom, that squad is going to go all the way up to maybe 3,000 each So I really won't be able to do that Because prices will change but no, none of the least boys, if you are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, let me know down below. So first of all, obviously we got the score using the Ford and the live foot friendly saving signings with a full squad of players brought for less than 2,000 coins each including subs assist five goals with through balls in the live foot friendly savvy signings with a full squad of players once again uh, brought for 2,000 coins or, or each so you've got the assist five goals with through balls win four matches and score in 10 separate matches so it looks like it's going to take 10 games obviously you have to score using a forward um, and, and you have to assist five goals with through balls which is triangle on playstation y on xbox and then you've obviously got the win for matches let's go have a look at the the savvy sightings game mode and then i'm going to go through and, and run through what i'll personally do uh, for the, these players that you can only buy for a maximum of 2,000 coins. Now, savvy signings, as you can see, loan players, exactly zero. First owned players, exactly zero. So you have to go and buy the players, right? So if you have someone in your club that is worth... 800 coins but you've packed them already that does not count you have to buy them which is really interesting from ea now first of all lads what i'm gonna do is as i said i'll run you guys through the process um okay i think that's just explaining it so i'm gonna run through the process of a squad builder and, and I like, usually would cut to a squad builder and it'll be a nice meta squad builder. But obviously once this objective is different, we literally can't. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to make a concept squad. We'll just call it AAA for now. Just something random. Um, but I will change that later on when we get into my tips. Now, first of all, you need to score with forwards and you need a through ball with a midfielder. When I choose my formation for my uh, objective guide teams, I usually keep you know the objectives you have to do in mind. But the score with a through ball, I will assist with it through ball, sorry can come easily we've reached through the 442 formation or whatever but you do want to score with a forward and a forward is a striker right forward left forward left wing or right wing i personally think my favorite formation for this is actually going to be and it may be a bit of a surprise once again it's up to you guys if you want to use it but i am in absolute love with the left forward and right forward formation the 4321 i am in love it works so much like liverpool system i'm currently using my main team with this exact same system so as i said you Usually, like you can have any league you want as long as the player is less than a certain amount of coins. So what I'll do is I'll search for a left wing, and what you want to do is you want to put the price up, put it on gold rear, put the uh, price. So you press down on uh, left bumper, so it'll bring you to the, uh, the the transfer market section of it. Go to left wing, go down to gold rear, set this to a maximum of 2,000 coins, and you're going to choose a league. Um, and you have to stick by that league as well. For example, if you decide to go for Serie A, have they got any gold? Here we go. You can buy Al Sharari maybe. You can buy this uh, Jovan Cabral. Obviously, these are all under 2,000 coins. So you can choose that card, pick them up. As I said, I can't like stick to a squad build because they might go up at one point I mean if you go ahead and go to your striker then you, once again gold rear 2000 max uh, I think Muriel I think his Balde cards currently in packs so you could go for Muriel maybe Ossie men there we go happy days um, and then you can just go right wing 
Boom, perfect. You guys get the gist of it. Go with Lozano or Hatterball, maybe. I can see there's not much supply of Serie A gold rear right wings. If there isn't much supply of right right wings uh, in the Serie A, then you may have to go for right mid and just have to play them on six or seven chemistry. Obviously, you've got Icona, etc., etc. Suited to midfielders, once again, you guys get the gist of it. Um, when I'm looking for a certain particular meta player to use, for my attackers, pace. It is very important. Um, so for my attackers, you really want to look for some pace. Um, I think Muriel's got 89 pace, Liz uh, Lozano's got some nice pace, um, but once again it doesn't have to be Serie A, that's just an example. You can go ahead and see that to right wing Premier League and have a look. Um, there you go, you could use this as Mayla Sar card, then it's striker, you, you could look for obviously a striker, and it goes down the same route. It's very unique from EA. I think Premier League might be a shout actually. Gabriel Jesus for 1,300 coins. So if I wanted to build up a brief team for you guys here, what I would do is I'll probably do something along the lines of I'll probably go maybe Podence assuming he's, he's under 2,000 coins I think I've been probably go for I think at right wing I'll probably go for that Sar um, obviously remember guys do not copy this exact team because they may have dropped in price by the time you're watching this so you are going to have to double check and make sure they are 2,000 coins or under it's actually a really unique thing by EA2 do and I actually rate it quite a bit it makes it more interesting and it means you're going to be facing no teams that are, that, that are good per se. Everyone is going to have like day one starting teams. We can go La Salso in the midfield, uh, Decore, uh, Oxlane Chamberlain. Now, if you check these prices and one of them's over 2k, you could mix it up and maybe search for a Premier League gold red cam instead and play like, you know, in Don Ballet, Odegaard, something instead. Um, so you're just going to have to keep alternating and make sure you keep checking the prices. Regulon, happy days. Obviously, if you buy a player for 1.9k, then they go up to 3,000 coins. As it's the date of time that you brought that player, right? Now, the centre-backs will be tough, for sure. The centre-backs will be tough because obviously there's a high supply or a low supply of the meta ones, but I think if you're looking at this, you're probably, you can see lots of Kunates and Bailly's, so I'll say Kunate and Bailly are going to be the best options for the centre back, so let's go chuck Kunate and Eric Bailly in there, there we go, right, it's perfect, so some solid pace centre backs, there's a high supply of them on the market, so it shouldn't be a problem, Fredericks, I can actually see him going over 2k quite quickly, so if he does go over 2,000 coins, then as I said, there is always a way around it, you, you could even and look at like gold common right backs and to be safe you know what i might actually just chuck a gold common right back in there so we know we don't go over the price limit i think you know what it may sound like an odd choice but to be safe we'll go for diago dalot obviously check frederick's price first because he may be under 2,000 coins for example low salso when you go to buy them make sure you have it on maximum 2,000. see low salso you cannot buy low salso so there we go that's a player we're gonna have to replace decore can you buy decore you can buy decore for under 2000 Oxalane Chamberlain. Oh wait, no, actually Lo Celso, sorry lads, he, he's got a Villarreal card. I actually completely forgot he's no longer a Tottenham, is he? So I'd, I'd probably go over him, I'd go for Cam, and I'll probably choose Martin Odegaard. There we go. So, but that's my fault. Um, apologies about that, lads. Uh, for, for example, as I said, Podence, make sure he's under 2,000, buy that, etc, etc. Now, as for the subs as well, you need all of your subs, don't worry about the reserves, but you need all seven of your subs to be brought for 2,000 coins or less as well. Now, this one is easy because it doesn't have to be a gold rare player, so just set the max buy now to 200 coins. Uh, scroll down a few pages or a few sections so you're not buying all of these cards, and it says, sorry, this listing expired, and then you can just buy seven bronze cards for 200 coins, or, you know, silvers for 200 coins, whatever. That doesn't really matter but make sure you buy that bench as well so now that you've got your team it may be a premier league team it may be a serie a team it may be a bundesliga team as i said look for pace with your attackers look for a well-rounded box to box with your midfielders and look for some relatively good pace for your center backs and, and full backs now now that you've got that boys we're going to head on over to footbin for tip number one now tip number one boys is going to simply be chemistry styles as you can see we've got our team and let's take this gabriel his Zeus card for an example. Now, the chemistry styles in this is going to be a massive tip because everyone is using a lower tier team. So, as you can see, Zeus 1k on PlayStation, 950 on both Xbox and PC. As you can see, you can see he's an 83 rated striker in game. Boom, go ahead and chuck a marksman on him. He goes to an 88 rated striker. 
An 88 rated striker, so with a marksman, he gets plus 8 shooting, plus 9 dribbling, plus uh, 5 physical, and although he's 83 rated, he's performing 5 ratings over his actual rating in game, and he's going to play like an 88 rated card. That's just an example. Obviously, you guys don't have to, uh, you might not be using a marksman on him. Um, just check your clubs for uh, chemistry styles. You can use a finisher marksman and injured on your midfielders and basically chemistry styles it gives them that little extra boost in game and it may be the difference between you winning and you not because as i said with a marksman although jesus is 83 rated he'll perform as if he's an 88 rated card so your 88 rated performing jesus could be better than someone's normal 84 or 85 rated jesus because when they have the basic chem style if they don't put a chemistry style on him then he, he, he won't get his more important stats so i think think at the end of the day, the difference between your team's quality and your opponent's team could simply be down to the chemistry styles. Now tip number two boys, I know this is a bit of a longer video because I had to show you guys through the squad builder so apologies for that. Now tip number two is going to be golden goal. Golden gold is completely up to you um, and it's definitely a game mode that you can get golden gold done in. You have to score with a forward and if I remember correctly just score with a forward. Um, I think you have to assist with a through ball and you have to score in 10 separate matches right? so we'll, we'll go and have another look at that in a second but like like I said the uh, the assist with a through ball you can do with any of your midfielders uh, the score with a forward is your left forward striker or right forward but what I would do is change your team name if you do want to do golden goal then fair enough if you don't then you don't have to but if you want to do golden goal then what you're going to want to do is just make your team name golden goal if you guys are wondering what this is it's a bit of an unspoken community rule if you go 1-0 up your opponent will quit and if you go 1-0 down you will quit and you'll be able to get 10 15 games done in a time it would usually take you to play two maybe even three full games so it's a very effective method of getting these objectives done a lot quicker now that's the team we've built obviously it's, it's hard to give you guys an exact team because obviously prices will be changing so i'll make sure you check for yourself stick to a league and, and buy the place for 2,000 coins or cheaper. If they don't have any gold rares, you may have to go down to the gold commons. But the score using a forward, we just went over. Assist five goals with a through ball, absolutely perfect. Win four matches, and you've got the score in 10 separate matches. It seems easy enough, lads. Remember, the team, you're going to have to check all of the main leagues. Pick a league, make sure you have it on max 2,000 coins. Look for pace for the strikers, a well-rounded midfielder, and some good pace and solid defending for your defenders as well golden goal along with chemistry styles you guys should be able to give us fantasy foot simon relatively quicker than usual it's been your boy davis and i'll see you guys later make sure to drop a like and subscribe as well